the health. I mean, every single member of my cabinet is vaccinated. I mean, they would have seen the members of uh, my cabinet um, getting um, their vaccines. Even in my case, um, at least one of the videos that I took uh, getting vaccinated was um, was published. So we did not hide to take um, these vaccines and um, they work, they're efficacious, they're safe. And I don't know why individuals will take this position that, you know, they um, may be hoping that they don't um, catch COVID or hope that if they catch COVID that they, they'll be one of the individuals who will have mild, mild symptoms. You may not, um, or maybe you're symptomatic. You may be one of the unfortunate persons who would get very ill and die. I mean, my understanding to someone like um, Serpent, um, who had all his fat chat about um, vaccinations, or he was taking all his boosts and so on. I'm told now that he virtually has um, long COVID. He's um, overseas um, taking care of his health. And I wish him a, a speedy recovery so he can return to get his whopping in St. George. <laughs> uh, but um, again, you just can't take on um, this issue for granted. You know, I mean, it's about risk management. And we need to, as you know, people understand um, how to manage um, risk and to, I mean, understand that we exercise sovereignty of our own body and be the CEO of our own bodies, but our own body. But, um, you know, at the same time, you know, we have to use common sense, use science. I mean, you have people using um, all kind of speculative inferences and so on to uh, defy um, the science. and. Unfortunately, innocent people are following them and they get so emotional about these issues. Um, and again, we're not trying to undermine uh, or, or violate your sovereignty of your own body, but we're trying to provide some level of guidance so that you can make the right decision to protect yourself, to protect your family members, because many individuals um, are literally um, transmitting COVID inadvertently and um, you know destroying lives and livelihoods. So we have to obviously continue to manage it and to to uh, just follow the government's um, lead. I mean, follow the protocols, follow the um, restrictions, and um, follow the mandates, and we'll be fine. Okay.